our lesson for today. Module 5 is the multiplication and division of polynomials division. But before that, para magawa natin yun, kailangan muna natin alamin itong loss of exponent. So, ang exponent is a superscript written at the upper right side of a number or a variable. Ito yun, yung exponent. So, written at the upper right side. And then, itong number or uh, constant or variable na nandito, in this case, constant tayo, number ang base niya, ito yung tinatawag na, ba na base. Okay? So, ma'am, ano po bang ganap ni exponent? Bakit may ganyan? So, exponent indicates the number of times kung ilang beses mo imumultiply ang base sa sarili niya. So, in this case, 2 raised to 3, si 2 daw, tatlong beses mong imumultiply sa sarili niya. So, pag in-expand mo yan, is 2 times 2 times 2. Tatlong beses mong imumultiply. So, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So, yun yung ganap ni exponent. No? Kaya meron tayong exponent. So, balik ta dahil alam na natin to, ang exponent at ang base, ano-ano muna ba yung mga loss of exponent? Zero exponent. So, si zero exponent, ang rule niya, syempre sa mga lugar natin, may mga batas tayong sinusunod. Ganon din sa <coughs> math. No? So, meron tayong tinatawag na zero exponent, which states that any variable raise to zero is always equal to 1 unless A must not be equal to 0. So, lahat daw ng variable na may exponent na 0 or number na may exponent na 0 is laging equal sa 1. Basta, yung letter, yung variable A mo, yung value ng base, yung value ng base mo is hindi siya equal sa 0. Okay? So, halimbawa, mm, 1,009 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Okay? Halimbawa naman is, example pa natin is x raised to 0 is equal to 1 pa din. Ito yung pinaka-rule natin na ito. Yan. Yan. Ito yung exemption ng rule natin. Okay? Dapat si ai not equal to 0. Okay? Ano pa ba? Hmm. <coughs> x raised to 0 is equal to 1 pa din. Kasi naka- um, exponent siya sa 0 yung buong expression na to. Okay? So, yan lang yung sinasabi. So, ito yung first rule natin. 0 exponent. Tatandaan ha, lahat ng variable na nakaraise sa 0 ay 1 unless a must not be 0. Okay? Tandaan mo yan. Next rule natin is negative exponent. So, sabi naman sa negative exponent, a raised to negative n is equal to 1 over a raised to n. Ayan. So, ito yung second rule natin ng law of exponent natin. Negative exponent states that a raised to negative n is equal to 1 over a raised to negative n. Pansinin nyo, yung base dito, meron siyang exponent na negative ang exponent. So, para maging positive, kasi hindi siya nakasimplify pag may negative exponent siya. Tatandaan yan, ha? Para maging positive yan, ilalagay mo lang siya sa ilalim. Okay? Ilalagay mo lang siya sa ilalim. Isa pa. Halimbawa naman, paano ma'am kung sa ilalim naman siya negative? Okay? So ano? Kung sa denominator siya negative, dadalhin mo lang siya sa numerator para maging positive. So ito ay magiging a raised to n na. Dito, denominator, negative yung exponent niya, dadalhin mo lang siya sa numerator para maging positive. Tapos syempre, yung 1, di naman na natin sinusulat yan dahil matik na yan na may 1. Kaya ito ay a raised to n. x raised to negative 3. So, paano mo yan isisimplify? x, 1, over, kung numerator siya dito, tadali mo siya sa denominator. x over, ay 1 over x cubed. 5, y raised to negative 5. Ayan. 5y raised to negative 5. Si 5, matik yan na may exponent na 1. Yung mga number natin ha, automatic na may exponent na 1. Yung mga constant natin. Okay? So, dahil positive naman yung exponent ni 5, maiiwan siya sa numerator. Okay? And then, times, multiplication yung ano nila ha, yung operation sa, between them. Okay? So, ito ay y, dito na tayo ha, sa y raised to negative 5. Dahil negative siya sa numerator, dadalhin lang natin siya sa denominator, which is magiging positive na yung kanyang exponent. So, pag sinimplify mo pa yan, 5 times 1 is 5. 
over y raised to 5. So, yan na siya. Okay? Okay na ba? Next. 3 x raised to negative 2 <coughs> over 2 y raised to negative 5. Okay? <coughs> so, kano naman to? So, si 3, matik na may exponent sila. Okay? Na 1. So, as is pa rin. Doon pa rin sila. Si 3 and si 2. Ang may negative exponent lang is itong mga variables natin. Okay? So, kung ito, si x squared ay negative exponent sa numerator, dalhin lang natin siya sa denominator. And then, itong si y raised to negative 5 na negative ang exponent sa denominator, dalhin lang natin sa numerator para maging positive. So, yun na siya. Dali, diba? Product of powers. So, sabi naman sa product of powers, a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. Multiply ka ng dalawang expression na parehas ang base. Ang gagawin mo lang, kopyahin mo yung base and then i-add mo yung kanilang exponent. Okay? Next. Sample tayo. x raised to 4 multiplied by 3x raised to 3. Yan. So, una mo munang gagawin, i-multiply mo muna yung kanilang numerical coefficient. So, ito may automatic na 1 na numerical coefficient. Yun muna unahin mo. So, 1 times 3 is 3. Ay, ay, ay. Pang. Okay? And then, anong gagawin? Kung kopyahin mo yung variable na pinagmumultiply mo, dahil same naman sila, and then, i-add mo yung exponent nila, which is 4 plus 3, kaya ito ay 3x raised to 7. Yan. Okay? 4x times 3x to the 8th power. Okay? Ulitin ko, i-multiply mo muna yung kanilang numerical coefficient, which is 4 times 3 is 12. And then, automatic yung mga variable natin ay may exponent na 1. Hindi na lang natin sinusulat, pero meron yan. Okay? So, anong sabi ng rule natin? Pag nag-multiply ka daw ng parehas na variable, ano, i-add lang yung exponent. So, kopyahin na natin yung ating variable, and then i-add natin yung exponent nila, which is 1 plus 8 is equal to 12 x raised to 9. So, ito na siya. Okay. Last example natin. <clears throat> Himbawa, x raised to negative 4 times x raised to 5. Okay? Multiply muna natin yung kanilang numerical coefficient, which is 1 times 1 invisible. Yun ha. It's equal to 1. Huwag na natin isulat. Di na sinusulat yun. Pero, this time, I, ah, ano ko muna, i re ko na lang mamayang final answer. And then, kukopyahin mo yung variable. And then, i-add mo daw ang kanilang exponent. Negative 4 plus 5. Okay? So, itong 1 din na natin isusulat yan. Kasi matik na na may, yung mga variable, may 1 na numerical coefficient pag hindi makasulat. And then, negative 4 plus 5. Okay, operations on integers. Ano? Okay, 1. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. Pero, dahil ang exponent natin ay 1 na lang, Invisible na rin yan. Hindi na rin natin yan sinusulat. So, ang sagot natin ay x na lang. Okay? Next rule natin. So, yun ang fourth rule natin. Ang power of a power. Next. Power of powers naman. Sabi sa rule natin, a raised to n divided by a, oops, a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. Okay. Ito yung fifth rule natin. Sabi, pag nag-divide ka daw ng parehas na variable, ng parehas na base, ano daw gagawin mangyayari sa exponent? Kukopyahin mo lang yung base and then, ano, isusubtract mo yung kanilang exponent, which is m minus n. Okay? So, example tayo. Halimbawa is 4y cubed over 2y squared. Okay. Una muna is iproprocess mo muna yung kanilang numerical coefficient which is 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay. So, dito na tayo sa parehas na base na dinidivide natin. ba? Yan yung form niya. So, kopyahin natin yung base which is y. Okay. And then, isusubtract natin yung exponent. 3 minus 2 is equal to 2y raised to 3 minus 2 is 1. Pero, ulit, dahil 1 na lang exponent, Invisible na lang yan. Hindi na yan sinusulat. So, ito ay 2y na lang. Okay? 
15x to the fourth x y cube y squared. Okay. So, may dala dalawa na ng variable. 15, ulitin natin. Unahin natin i-divide yung kanilang numerical coefficient. 15 divided by 1 is 15 pa din. Okay? And then, x, ito muna unahin natin. Itong same na variable na to. x, then yung exponent niya, ima-minus mo sa exponent ng nasa baba. Anong exponent nito? Invisible. 1. Okay. And then, multiplied by, next natin yung y, yung exponent niya ay 3, minus yung 2 sa ilalim. Okay? So, ito ay 15x, 4 minus 1 is 3, and then y, 3 minus 2 is 1, which is hindi na natin sinusulat. So, iyan ay 15x cubed y. So, yan ang ating sagot. A power. So, sabi naman sa power of a power, if a variable, meron siyang exponent m, and then, raised to another power, which is n, so, ang magiging sagot ay a raised to m multiplied by n. Yan. Okay? So, ito ang 6 rule natin. Power of a power. Example. x raised to 4 raised to another power which is 2. So, ano daw gagawin? Yung variable, x mo, and then, i-multiply mo yung exponent 4 times 2. Okay? So, this will be equal to x raised to 8. Okay na ba? Numerical coefficient niya. Matik na na may exponent na 1. So, ito muna tayo. And then, i-distribute natin yung kanyang exponent sa labas. 2 raised to 1, i-multiply mo siya sa exponent sa labas na 3. And then, x raised to 2, i-multiply mo din siya sa exponent sa labas. So, ito ay 2 raised to 1 times 3 equal to 2 cube. And then, ito ay x raised to 2 times 3 is equal to x raised to 6. Okay? Nakasimplify na ba? Hindi pa. Tandaan ha, dapat pag constant ang base, isisimplify mo pa. Okay? Ito, pag in-expand mo, tatlong beses daw i-multiply ni 2 ang sarili niya. So, ito ay 2 times 2 times 2 times x raised to 6. Okay? So, ito ay 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 x raised to 6. So, ito ang ating 